Hello, I'm absolutely thrilled to be joined today by Vikram Sinha, who's the CEO of Indosat, the second largest operator inside Indonesia. We're going to talk today a lot about what's been going on with the company, which is very exciting, but I think more importantly about the impact that 5G is having both in your organization and for your customers. But before we do that, let's go forward to the Extended Reality Studio. So Vikram, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in Indosat. You've had a very busy few years, you had a great turnaround story from 2018, and then 18 months ago, a bit less, you decided to merge with another company. Just talk a little bit about that journey and the rationale behind where you were with that. No, look, I, I think uh, you are right. Uh, we have had a good run for last, I'll say around 15 quarter. It all started in, uh, January 2019, you know, where we got a mandate to turn around and bring the Indosat glory back. Why am I saying so? Because Indosat is a very strong name, you know, it has a 55-year-old legacy. This was the first company which had connected Indonesia to the world. With that strong brand, you know, we were able to, for 12 quarter, grow our revenue, which is 5x of the industry. And I think the important point uh, which I want to make here is merger, we always said, is good for Indonesia. And, and the key message which I got and the learning which I want to highlight is surviving entity was Indosat. And from Indosat to Indosat to Ridu Hutchison, we were doing it from the strength. When you have 12 quarter of consistent, you know, double digit growth, growing 4x, 5x of the industry, EBITDA growing 2x of revenue. It gave that mindset and, and with a bigger vision that this is good for Indonesia, good for customer, good for shareholder. Last uh, 14 months, you know, I'll say uh, uh, has been good for us. And when you decided this, because it now makes you around 100 million subscribers. I mean, that's the size of AT&T in the Western world, if you'll forgive that expression. What, what was the primary driver? Was it scale that drove you there? Was it you saw complementary businesses? Did you feel that there was a the scale offered you opportunities you didn't currently have? What, what was the primary driver? This is a very good question. You know, we always said that these two asset, Indosat, which is IM3 brand, and then Hutchison 3, which is 3 brand, right from the spectrum holding to the design of our network was very complementary. And, and on one side, you know, it, it has a synergy value. Now I can tell you, you know, when we started, we said anywhere between 300 to 400, I can confidently tell you it is going to be 400 and we'll be doing it in three years time. So with this kind of synergy value and, and, and a very complementary asset, especially two brands also, you know, IM3 has a segment, 3 has a segment, so all these things was all, you know, coming together very nicely. And that is where we said that this is something which will help everyone. And when you say help everyone, do you think you can do that alone now with those brands? Or have you got partnerships in mind where you want to drive the business into new areas or into new places to make the most of it for the Indonesian people? I'm, I'm very clear on that. Uh, uh, we could not have done it, what we have achieved in last 13, 14 months without our partner. You know, let me give you one example. When it was about network integration, there are two very important things in a merger. One of them is integrating network, and it's a scale network. We said we can do it in 24 months. Now I can tell you we are completing it in 12 months. We are only able to do it because of our partner, you know and the kind of support and the same mindset of how we can bring value for everyone, how we can serve our customer well, has helped us come where we are. That's amazing. So what kind of services over the next, say, 10 years, or maybe even as far as 20 years, what kind of things are you considering that your new business together can do? And perhaps, uh, we spoke about this before, but the culture that you're trying to build into the business, perhaps that's a bit of a blend of those two things. I think let me start with the culture. Uh, it's very close to my heart. 
as a CEO of uh, Indosat Uridu Hutchison, first 12-13 months, 70% of my time was on culture integration. A lot of people were telling me, how will you get different set of culture together? I see it as an opportunity. You know, we were, I was not working from an integration mindset. I was working from a transformation mindset. How many times in life you get an opportunity to do something so transformative? And this is where how you have a unique opportunity to build the culture which you want instead of bringing any legacy from, you know, uh, from the previous. So I think that has been my biggest learning and I, I think you are right. That is the most important part for a successful merger, acquisition, whatever you call it. You know, you have to make sure you get it right. And if you don't do it and get it right in first year, it never gets done. Now, coming on to your point on 10 year, 15 year, 20 year, I think we have one thing and I saw the power of that is our purpose. You know, a lot of people ask me, what is your target? I have a very simple and clear answer. Our target is to empower every Indonesian, 275 million Indonesian. While we have connected 100 million Indonesian, but what really excites us is our purpose, which is larger than life. And I think COVID has been a silver lining. We have seen that companies like Indosat, the whole telecom sector, we are talking about digital, digitalization, shaping for innovation. It is so important and this is where we feel that our purpose of empowering every Indonesian is what keeps us going. And with that philosophy, you know, we want to be a part of the customer life cycle. So just to give you a small example, you know, in Indonesia, in next four years, there are close to 21 million new customer, first time users will be coming from rural Indonesia. So not only we want to connect, we want to make sure that they get access to lending, they are into the whole digital ecosystem. So this is very exciting. So it goes far beyond just being a telco, it's about being one of the mainstays of your national welfare and being, and, and that becomes so important to you. That's an important purpose and role, I think. Correct. I, I think we want to connect ourselves with the Indonesia vision. Indonesia is on the forefront of being the digital powerhouse of Southeast Asia. After, especially after G20, the whole world is looking at it, how rapidly things are changing. We want to play our part on making sure that, you know, we are an integral player when it comes to the big picture. So maybe just to finish off, that's great, big picture. A lot of work to do, I'm sure you'd still say, and I'm sure you're still challenging your people to make that happen. What's going to happen in the next, say, nine months? We go away from Barcelona, you're going back to the office to make things happen. What happens in 2023? What's your strategy this year? I, I think we are still not done on the integration piece. Uh, uh, we have more work to do. So the first thing is how we deliver marvelous customer experience to each and every customer. This is one learning I want to share with you. Customer don't care about merger acquisition. What they care about is how we are keeping the product, their experience simple and transparent, how we are able to give them a marvelous experience. So we are. this is our single-minded focus. But the other thing which I want to do on one side, I want to make sure that we are doing this with a maximized mindset. How do I make sure that one plus one equal to 11? In that whole process, if I'm getting a strategic partner, how do I make sure one plus one plus one equal to 111? <laughs> so I think this is, this is the mindset which we are taking to grow HSN revenue. You know, I, I think this is an important point. So on one side, we want to grow our core. We see a lot of opportunities there. We are very blessed in a market like Indonesia. On the other side, we want to make sure that our adjacent revenue, which is currently, we have a three billion US dollar revenue, which is around 4%. How do we make sure by 2026, 27, this is something which is 25%. It's like creating a billion dollar adjacent revenue while you are growing your core at double digit. Well, I think that's a really exciting thing to do. Vikram, thank you so much for joining us here on Win Win Live. It's been a fantastic show so far. Genuinely one of the most interesting sessions I've had so far in the, in the show. Congratulations on how you come so far. Can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.